is your first alert five weather with Alex O'Brien. I've been checking in on the Woodland Park Sky Camera this evening, and I see people lined up for the Parade of Lights. That's going to happen at 6. So it's a nice evening so far in Woodland Park. 40 degrees, not too bad. Certainly going to get chilly tonight, but we've had worse evenings for the Parade of Lights. Trinidad, 52 still right now. Northwest winds 14 miles per hour. Here's our highs today across the state. Now, Pueblo very well may be the warmest city on the board here. 70 degrees was the high 65 in Colorado Springs that is well over 20 degrees above average. It was a very warm day. Great chance to get outside and perhaps run some errands. There was a lot of people out and about shopping this afternoon. Now, as far as conditions go tonight again until about 10 PM, we'll see temperatures still comfortable with a couple of layers on and then we drop to the 30s overnight. Notice the cloud cover moves in by Sunday morning and we start to see that snowfall building into the mountains. This next storm system will bring some significant snowfall west of the continental divide. So notice it's mostly the Sangre de Cristos and areas west where this is divided on. Uh, elsewhere across the region on Sunday afternoon, we're still trending in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and we will have sunshine between those high clouds. But do be cautious if you are headed up to the mountains. That begins to wrap up by about Monday morning, and then our cold front arrives. This is where we've been watching the potential of some precipitation but I've basically taken out it out of the forecast here because this front will be dry, will no longer have its moisture after the mountains use it all up. And by the way, the mountains will see plenty of snowfall from this storm. We're thinking about a half a foot to a foot in any spot in this advisory. Notice this is covering a lot of I-70, so if you are going up to go skiing tomorrow, be very, very careful. I would actually recommend taking Highway 24 instead. So temperatures right now, we're mostly in the 40s and 50s still. Temperatures tonight will continue to drop just below freezing to the 20s and low 30s. Then by tomorrow, we're still about 10 to 15 degrees above average, but we are cooler than today was. 57 Colorado Springs and 59 for Pueblo. Still some low 60s into the eastern plains and mostly 40s into our mountain valleys until you head further west where we had that snowfall chance. All right, then we see our cold front. We will have impacts not likely from snowfall. We might have some flurries in the morning as the front passes by. But after that, we're just cooler up to 37 for the high down to the teens overnight into Tuesday morning. And then we'll gradually see things rebound back to the 40s and 50s. Not a bad week ahead after a cooler Monday. Pueblo looking forward to still a nice afternoon tomorrow. More high clouds, still a breeze in place, and then chilly to the low 40s on Monday, quickly rebounding through the end of the week back to the 50s by Wednesday. Canyon City is the only city I've left in a chance for some precipitation. I have an impact one for flurries, and I do not expect a ton of accumulation, if at all. You might even have a wintry mix in there, and it will be cool on Monday. Woodland Park will see a pretty big drop in temperatures between 45 Sunday down to 33 for the high on Monday. Do prepare for a couple of cold days, but after that, we're back to the 40s in no time.